Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to spool up your bait casting reels. Um, the way I do it is kind of a simplified way. It works perfectly fine for me. I've never had an issue with it. A lot of times I think fishermen tend to like to overcomplicate things. And when you're tying onto your spool, sometimes you'll see big fancy knots like arbor knots or something like that. But personally, I don't think it's necessary. I just do a regular overhand knots two or three of them never had a problem it's much faster and easier to learn than a fancy knot and it works perfectly fine so some people would argue with me but I've never had a problem so that's the way I do it it's the way I'll continue to do it but I've got some uh, Eposidon braid here normally I use the green when I'm fishing but for the purpose of this video I got the high vis yellow out I thought it'd be easier to see so you just start by putting your line through the line guide and wrap it around the spool I already did it here before the video just for time purposes because it can take some time every now and then but this is your tag end and then this over here is the main line coming off the spool so I just take it and I make oh, two or three just regular overhand knots one, two, and just wanted to make sure you can get it tight to the spool. And this is the knot I use with braid, monofilament, fluorocarbon, any type of line. And just cut it nice and close. And then sometimes when I'm using braid, since braid has that special coating on it and the tendency to slip sometimes, I'll just take a piece of black electrical tape and just lay it right over the knot. I don't always do that, but it's just kind of an insurance purposes. It's not necessary, but it does help. So, And then you just start winding and spool it on your line, or on your spool. And I like to hold the line real nice and tight and get a good tight spool. And you can kind of use your fingers and follow that guide left to right just to ensure that it gets on the spool nice and evenly alright I like to get it to just about that point there on the spool maybe in sixteenth or an eighth of an inch from the very top too much and too little can cause backlash right about there is about right so uh... a good full spool will help with casting distance as well so and that's basically it then you cut your line and tie on your lure of choice and you're good to go so i like to keep it simple so that's the way i do it and never had a problem so hopefully it works for you too Thanks.